Triumph, oh, and my God will never fail. That's right. Oh, and my God will never fail. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the
Glory, church. We give him glory, 
Calvary Church, we glorify his name. so beautifully moving in this in this place spilling up this place it's incredible incredible presence
such an awesome God, so mighty, so holy, so wonderful, such an awesome God, so delight to reveal his glory to us as we cry out show me your glory So 
strong, so strong up here, my goodness. Oh, we love you, Jesus, we love you, Lord. Oh, let the weight of your spirit, oh, let it fall down, let it pour out. Oh, let the weight of your glory, oh, let it fall, let it pour, let it pour, let it pour. The weight of his glory, the weight of his glory pouring out. So you can ask him, oh, let the weight of your glory, oh, let it pour. the glory church you are worthy of it all worthy of it all from you are all things to you are all things you deserve the glory yes it's worthy you are worthy of it all, worthy of it all, from you are all things, to you are all things, you deserve the glory, worthy of it all. 
the glory church worthy of it all you're worthy of it all You can't help but just rejoice and celebrate because he is that good. Amen. He is so good. a shift happening in here. Jesus. We exalt his name. We lift his name on high. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Transformation all across the room right now. Transformation. Even online. Transformation. 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 
Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, moving, 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 stirring, stirring. Holy Ghost, I thank you, Lord God, healing hearts. I thank you, Lord God, healing minds. I thank you, Lord God, Lord God, you're setting the wrongs right. I thank you, Lord God, shifting right now things that have been stolen, things that have been robbed from. You've been robbed. Some of you have been robbed from and stolen from. But God, but God, now this is the day of turnaround, I'm telling you. Rise up and decree it. Rise up and declare it. It's mine. Oh, every good and perfect going to stand back and see anything that has been defeated in our lives because we're taking it back. Take it back. Take it back. We're taking back everything the enemy has tried to steal, kill, and destroy. It's ours in Jesus' name. Glory, 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 glory. Woo! Restoration of your families. Restoration of your families. Come on, it's time to rest. God is restoring, so we claim it. We say it's ours. You see, we're seated in the heavenly places, church. You may, you may see yourself down here, but you got to see yourself up there because you're literally seated in the heavenly places. You are literally seated in the heavenly places at the head, at the feet of Jesus. Seated with him next to God. I thank you, Lord God, that seat has been reserved for you. It's been reserved for us. So therefore, we're not going to move or shift from our position of authority in Christ. Woo! Come on, take it back. The violent, take it by force. Take back what belongs to you. Take back, take back your children. Take back, take back your health. Take back those finances. Do not allow, allow the destroyer to come and defeat you. Open up your mouth and decree victory is mine in Jesus' name. Woo! Come on, yeah, come on, come on. Even, even the youth, even the children, yes. even the children know how to worship and praise and get those flags going. Hallelujah. Oh, we're not done. We're going to keep moving. I feel the Holy Ghost about ready to shift things up. About ready to shift things up. Woo! Glory and fire and power. Glory and fire and power. Woo! We receive it all. We receive it all. Do you receive it all? Yes! yes. I speak freedom, freedom, freedom over you today. Freedom, freedom, come on, church, freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. You set the captives free. Freedom, freedom, freedom to sing, to dance, to decree the victory. Freedom. You know when we do this, the devil gets mad. You know when we, whoo, you know when we do this, he doesn't know which way is up. He starts looking around and saying, wait, 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 what are they doing? What are they, what are they, what are they shouting? What are they, what's coming next? What's coming next? What's coming next? What's coming next? Woo! It's the praises of God. It's the victory that he's already purchased that's coming next. Woo! Hallelujah. Taken back with every step you take. Taken back that ground. We take back that ground. We take back that ground. Every step, every step, every step. We take back that ground. Oh, I take back that ground. No. You can't have our children, no devil. You can't have our family, 
praise. No. Hallelujah. Because they're ours in Jesus' name. Come on, this means war. We're going to pull it down. We're going to take it back. You can't sit there and just think it's just going to happen. You got to the violent take it by force. You got to walk in and you need to tell. Oh. It's like, it's like, okay, okay. <laughs> Moment of transparency. It's like this. How many of you got older kids? Okay. How many of you remember when those, when those older kids were kind of in the teenage stage? Maybe some of you are there right now. How many of you remember walking into their rooms and finding some things that should have never been in your house? Should have never been in your house. Did you just walk in there and go, oh, and walk back out? I sure hope not. Did you walk in there and say, what? That goes out now. Did you break it? Did you rip it? Did you tear off those leaves? Hey, show no ball, say it, I must say. That's what you need to do right now. Taking it back. Take back what belongs to you. Don't just sit there and think it's going to be handed back to you when it's been robbed from you. It's been robbed. You got to take it back. We got to take it back. We 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 take it back. Take it back. Just pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray, 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 pray. Spirit of the Lord is stirring, 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 stirring. Victory is in the action. Somebody needs to hear that. Victory is in the action. Victory is in the action. The action of the Holy Ghost. Not just any action. The action of the Holy Ghost. It's not a passive church, it's an active church. It's not on fire church, it's a church that's set on fire. It's a church that's set on fire. We're set on fire. Hey, oh yeah, oh Lord, oh yes, oh Lord. Can, can I can I pray for you? I want you to come up here. Yes, you, come on up. Come on up. Just stand right here. Let's see. Randy, could you stand behind her? Just lift your hands up. Warrior for the king. Warrior for the king. We take authority over every place you have been robbed and stolen from. We say absolutely no more. No more. No more. No more. Say look at me. Rise, arise, arise, arise. Hey, can I my son go to the bowl? Say, Woo! Lord, you're filling her up. Lord, you're filling her up. Fire, fire. No, you will not be stolen from any longer. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Victory is hers. Victory is hers. Victory is hers. After the Holy Ghost right now, I need to I need to follow the flow of the Holy Ghost. Yes. I need to follow the flow of the Holy Ghost right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Restoration. Yes, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Restoration, 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 restoration. Restoration, 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 restoration. restoration. Oh, we decree the 
the restoration of the Lord over this place, over this place, over this place. We decree the restoration of the Lord over this place, over this place right now. We thank you, Father God, at the very sound of my voice, Lord God, restoration is coming forth. I thank you, Lord God, we shall not be robbed from, we will, shall not be stolen from. We take back what the devil has stolen, what he has stolen, what he has destroyed. We take it back, we take it back. Somebody needs that prayer of boldness and confidence. Because you know that little story I just shared with you and you said, in your mind, you said, no, 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 I didn't respond like that. I actually didn't respond and now I feel guilty and now I feel terrible and now, I, now, I've, got a, now I've got shame on me. Hey, you don't call and partner with the enemy. You don't partner with the enemy. You stand up. You break that thing off right now in the name of Jesus. Hey, you break it off, 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 break it off. Any place of shame, break it off in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Get your swords out, church. Hmm. Hmm. We're getting our swords out. Sharpening our swords. We're sharpening our swords. Pastor Melissa, come on up. Come, sorry. Just lift your hands up before the Lord. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Fire and power. Fire and power. Glory, 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 glory. healer you are the great restorer I thank you for healing eyes I thank you for sight to be restored perfect vision thank you Lord God thank you Lord God no thievery in our families will be allowed Woo! Jesus 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 look at me all that oppression goes right now all the weight all the worry goes right now I rebuke that devil and I command him to be loosed off of you right now in the name of Jesus. All of it goes now. Let it go. Give it all to Jesus. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Ooh, fire. Fire. I break every word curse spoken. I take authority over every word curse spoken. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of the words spoken over you. Wow. Shake it in my sick. There you go. I speak that over anyone else in this room as well, even listening to the sound of my voice. Word curses, I break the power of ungodly word curses right now. H how many of you say, wow, there's been some word curses? You? Yeah? How many of you would say there's, some, there's been some word curses? I've been feeling the effects of them, but you know what? I've been doing the battle, but it's still there. If that's you, I want you to come up. We're going to break the power of these ungodly word curses. Because you know what? I sense it. I sense it strongly. And I don't know exactly who it's for, but I sense it strongly. Okay, so it's for a lot of you. So, Father, right now, I thank you every word curse that's been spoken. Father, we rebuke it. I want you to be praying with me as well. We rebuke every word curse right now. We cancel right now every diabolical, sickening, sickening word that's been spoken, that's been spewed, that's like a cancer. We say right now it's being uprooted. We uprooted out of the layers of our soul. We say it comes out of our mind, out of our emotions, out of our heart, out of our will. In the name of Jesus, we say out right now, devil. Out right now, devil. In the name of Jesus, blessed I am. Blessed I am. Power in Christ is yours. Break it. Break it. We break it off. We uproot it. Wow, just lift up your hands. Yeah, just see, when I come by you, just keep your hands lifted up. Keep your hands lifted up. I'll pray for you. Yeah, I'll pray for you. 
Every word curse right now, we decree right now, the sword of the Lord is against it. It's against it. We put the sword of the Lord right now and we cast it out. We cut it off in the name of Jesus. Every word curse of rejection, we command it to go right now. Every word curse of rejection, go right now. Wow. Wow. From the root. From the root. Glory of God filler. The power of God filler. So you're going to walk out of this place a new woman. You're walking out of this place a new woman in Christ. You're walking out healed and whole. You're not walking out the same way you walked in. You're walking out healed and whole. Rising up, rising up. Soul go down, spirit rise up. Rise up. Spirit rise up. Your soul goes down. Your spirit rises up and attaches to the Holy Spirit right now. Thank you, Father. Now just be still and let God touch you. Say thank you, Father. Receive it all. New woman in Christ. Yes, strong, bold, and empowered. Yes. Woo, you're welcome. Praise the Lord. Oh. And you can stay up here. That's good because you know what you continue to receive. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord God, you've been healing her body. I thank you for more, more, more power, power to heal, Lord God. You are, you are her healer, and she is healed in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you, Randy. Every word curse that's has, has just come against your mind and brought confusion. I rebuke confusion. I rebuke that off of all of you. Confusion. I command confusion to go right now. Witchcraft spirits to leave right now. Every spirit of witchcraft, we break that off. We break off the spirit of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No more does it get to stay. It goes right now. It goes right now. She, hallelujah. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. Break it. Yep. Impossibilities become possible right now in the name of Jesus. In the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit, God says, right, I'm lifting you up higher. The sorrow has to go because he's removing it, right? I uproot it. He's removing it. I uproot it. I uproot that sorrow. I uproot that sorrow. Whoa, wow, wow. Let him in. Let him in. Let the spirit of the living God. He wants to love you. He wants to comfort you. He wants to call you his own. He wants to, he wants to be your husband. Whoo! He wants to be your husband. Hey. Thank you, Lord God, for healing every area. Thank you, Lord God, for healing every area. Wow. Yeah, healing every area. Wow, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Closing up those doors that needed to be closed in the name of Jesus. Those doors that needed to be closed. He's closing up those doors that needed to be closed. Right now, Abba. Right now. Thank you, Father. Right now, Abba. Thank you, Father. Yes, the kids, if you guys want to come around, that's great. And you want to help me, that's wonderful. We love when the kids come and help. Oh, there's a wave of God's glory that is just falling upon you, woman of God. I saw it before I even walked up to you. There's a weight of God's glory. You know, this is breaking all the word curses. You know that because you can't stand under the weight of glory and think you don't get changed. Woo! Thank you. You don't get touched. Woo! Hallelujah. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, rise up. Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Father, I thank you for what you're doing in this one, Lord. Yes, as the children gather around and they're apart. Wow, thank you, Father. Filler, God. Healer, Lord God. Filler, God. Filler, Lord God. Hey, Kate, Oh, hallelujah. Oh, strengthened and whole, healed and whole. I thank you, Lord God. Father, what you are doing in her life beyond what she can even imagine. It's beyond, it's beyond what you can hope, dream, or imagine. I thank you. He is equipping you to stand strong and to stand tall. He is equipping you to make a difference. You are making a difference. More than you realize, you're making a difference. So, Lord, I thank you right now for showing her that, Lord God. Strength, 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 even in brokenness, strength. Strength, even in brokenness, there's strength that rises. Even in brokenness, there's strength. There's strength rising up right now. Okay, you can, yeah, there we go. We got it all divided up. Hey, and healed and whole, strong in him. Strong in him, receive it all. Oh my, to 
just lift your hands up. I know some of you are still standing up here. Just lift your hands wherever you are. Wherever you are, Holy Spirit, tell them, come fill me. Holy Spirit. Wow, you guys are amazing, these little helpers. Holy Spirit. Hmm. We need to stand by her, but honestly, let's move her back. Let's move her backwards. Yeah. Just because there's more space, because you don't go backwards in the spirit. You want to go forward. But thank you, Lord. Let your glory fall upon her. Let your power fall afresh upon her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Woo! Glory. Yes. Thank you, Father. More, Lord. Yeah, God is the great comforter. He is the great comforter. Okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for these amazing, beautiful children. Lord, we thank you, Father God. Fill her. Here, let's come bring you this way. Yeah, yeah. Fill her, Lord God. Fill her up. Fill her up. There we go. Praise you, Jesus. Yes, Lord God, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You're her catcher. If you're behind her, you're her catcher. Woo! Look at that. We train up the little ones to be catchers right away. Thank you, Father. Yeah, let's, let's bring you this way. Let's bring you this way. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Lord, for these little ones that we see. Minstrels before the Lord. They're minstrels before they minister to God. They sing and they worship. They're ministering to the spirit of the living God. You're ministering to the spirit of the living God. You are ministering to the spirit of the living God. And that is exactly what he's called us to do, is to minister to him. We minister to him. Church, we are ministering to him. When we come and worship, we are ministering to him. We are worshiping him. We are decreeing that he is good all alone, all by himself. He is good. He is good. And we worship him we say yes we say yes whoa again there's glory over you father the cloud of glory that i see not just on her but all around her i thank you lord that she literally walks in this you walk in this glory lord let it increase let it increase let her so be aware let her be, if she's not already, let her so be aware. Let the glory intensify. You know, that's exactly what the Lord did for me uh, years ago. I, when, I, when I started to sense the glory of the Lord all around me, I could tell. I walked knowing I was basically in a bubble. God's holy bubble. <laughs> God's holy bubble. Just completely, whoa. He encircles you. He encompasses you. Yes, he does. And there's nothing to do. It's not about age. It's not about age. It's about hunger, surrendered life, a willing spirit, a heart that says, yes, Abba. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, take them deep, 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 deep in your presence, God. Take them deep, deep, deep in your presence, God. Yes, Lord. Fill them up, Lord. Fill them up. Fill them up. Fill her up. <laughs> Woo. More. The devil thought he had you. He thought he won, but God. See, that's why we laugh sometimes, because we just know, man. Devil, you're so defeated. You don't even know who you're dealing with. You don't even know. But we do. But we do. And so I say, fire of the Holy Ghost. Woo! Hey, hey. Fire of the Holy Ghost. That fire causes you to rise up in boldness. That fire causes you to rise up in victory. The victory that is already ours. The victory that's already ours. Oh, yes it is. Yes. It is healed and whole in the name of Jesus. Heal, <laughs> healed and whole in the name of Jesus. Fire, 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 glory, glory, man. I feel kind of drunk. <laughs> Woo, we need to, okay, so catchers, you gotta really, because I'm like, whoa. I'm just kind of leaning on you. I'm leaning on you, Teresa. I'm leaning on you. <laughs> Woo! Oh. <laughs> Woo. All right, I'm good. And 
we need the catcher to catch her to catch the catch. Catch the catch. Wow, you two. So sweet. Lord, new identity. New identity over her. Look at me. New. He's making all things new. Right now, every place where you've been wounded, where you've been lied to, where you have been abused, I rebuke that spirit and I command right now that ungodly spirit to be removed from you now. Go. Lies must go. We break off the lies in the name of Jesus. He's renewing a steadfast spirit within you. <laughs> He's renewing a steadfast spirit. Renewing a steadfast spirit, Lord God, I thank you, Father God. Oh, I thank you, Father. You love her so, so much. Your sensitivity to the Holy Spirit is incredible. And I thank you, Lord God, that you've caused her to be so sensitive to hear you, to walk hard after you, Lord God. I thank you for the glorious wisdom that you give her as well. I thank you that everything she does, Lord, you bless the work of her hands. I thank you that she has a testimony and continues to have a testimony of how good God is. Amen. Woo. Yeah, don't worry. I'm coming around. I'm coming around. I'm coming around. Yes, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Be healed. Be healed, body, soul, and spirit, your mind. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello again. Hello again. Come stand up this way. Oh, I thank you, Father God. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. I thank you, Father God, that you are restoring the years of the locust as stolen from this one. I thank you, Lord God, that from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, Lord God, that he is healed and he is whole. Lord God, he will not walk with any demonic assignment. Oh, any curse. We rebuke any curse and all curses. We, we say, no, devil, no, you don't. Absolutely not. Spirit of fear must be uprooted completely from the root. Uprooted completely. Spirit of fear must go right now in the name of Jesus and I thank you for this couple this husband and wife Lord this whole family I thank you Lord God for what you have done what you have started Lord God in them Lord God you are also faithful to finish so Lord God fill them right now Holy Ghost fill them yep 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 let the Holy Spirit do what he's gonna do Father bless bless him bless him bless him Holy Ghost power, I thank you. Lord, let the power of the Holy Ghost start to resonate on the inside of him. Let it start to resonate. Yep, there it is, there it is, there it is. Woo, whoa, fire, 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 fire. <laughs> now when I call out fire, it's the Holy Ghost power. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost that fills us up to the overflow. Yeah. Wow. Woo. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Abba. Oh, the hungry, they see him. The hungry, they see him. We get to see him. We, we, we get to be with him. Oh, drenched in him. Let him drench, drench you in him. Fill him. Fill him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> wow praise you lord i thank you father for the these beautiful sweet children lord god their prayers lord god their hearts of compassion their hearts of compassion this is, resembles the heart of god the heart of compassion for you woman of god he has not left you you are not forgotten he is with you and he will see everything through all your questions are not too much for him they're not too much for him he will supply every answer that you are asking a question for every answer he will supply it thank you father fill her right now glory 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 fill her up more 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 oh hallelujah and then I say, we thank you, Father, for the healing. We thank you that you've been healing in his body, Father God, and you continue to do so, Lord God. He is healed and whole in Jesus' name. Healed and whole in Jesus' name. Now let your sweet, sweet Holy Spirit, well, the glory of God, fill him now. 
throughout his whole body. Yes, God, throughout his whole body. You love the move of the Spirit. You're one that yearns for more of him. And so the Lord says, I am not withholding anything from you. Receive, receive, receive. Yes, God. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Woo! More fire. The wisdom of God be hers. Wow. There we go. There we go. God is going to give you greater wisdom. He's going to give you greater wisdom. So I call out the things that I see. So I thought I heard my name. Thank you, Father, for favor. I thank you, Lord, for a job. I thank you, Lord, for every, every need is met in Christ. Every need is met in Christ. For God, you are the faithful provider, and you supply all of our needs. So right now, as I lay my hands upon her, I decree supply, God's holy supply. Thank you, Father, for a miraculous supply. Oh, it's miraculous. A miraculous supply. Turn around. A quick turnaround. We're going to hear the testimony of the quick turnaround. Miraculous supply. Amen, amen, amen. Be healed. Who needs, who needs prayer in their body for healing? Prayer, anybody? Thank you, Lord God. You are her healer. So I rebuke right now whatever's going on with her throat and in her nose. I rebuke right now every sickness. I command it to go right now in the name of Jesus. I speak forth eyes, ears, nose, throat. Healed, whole, healed, whole. Thank you, Father God. Hey! We speak to that spirit. Be loosed off of her in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Look at me. Every form of sickness goes now. Weakness goes now. Fatigue goes now. I'm going to have you step this way. And can somebody give me some water, please? It would be wonderful. They're in there, yeah. Oh, there so much more. He's doing so much more than healing your body. You have to let him. So much more. Mm -hmm. Every ungodly soul tie right now, we command it to be removed from her now. Every ungodly soul tie we cut off and we kick out now. Everything that draws your back to an unhealthy place, we remove now, even the memory of it. We speak to her heart, her mind, her soul. We speak to her spirit. Arise and shine for the glory of God is upon you, woman of God. You were created for more than what you have experienced thus far. And God wants to crown you with his royal crown. Nothing missing and nothing broken. Lord, remove the evil one from amongst her. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God, for restoring, Lord God, her mind. Lord, any place where there is in her heart, in her mind, Lord God, any place where, Lord, she needs to hear you more clearly, we command the confusion to go right now. I thank you, Lord God. No more confusion. No more double-mindedness in the name of Jesus that you're filling her up, that you're giving her your, your heart, your, your understanding, Lord God. The understanding of the Lord. Wow. Amazing. Who 
else need prayer for healing? Oh, okay. How can I pray for you? Your throat too? Okay, come on, come on up here. Is that just your throat, that's it? Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. So right now as I lay my hands upon your throat, I rebuke every demonic assignment, every sickness, any soreness, any disease, any infection, any virus, any bacteria goes now. Hey, it leaves her now. We break every curse and every cycle of sickness and every weakness in Jesus' name. Take a big, take a deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Thank you, Lord. Healed. You're healed. You're healed. You're whole. The glory of God has just touched you and shifted that which needed to be shifted. Wow, there it is. Woo. It's so funny when they laugh on the way down. Spirit, please. everybody doing? Woo! Blessed and highly favored. We're blessed and highly favored. You're healed and whole. Your body is following after the Lord. Yes, it is. See, we're not following after anything else. We're following after the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. How are you doing? Thumbs up. Amen. Hi, how can I pray for you? Okay, so. Oh, yeah, so we give you a chair. You just got over having a fractured hip, and you're healing. And so there's pain in that area or no? Only at times. Is it on this side? Which side is it on? Yeah? Okay. Thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you. Your hand, your, the balm of Gilead right now. Lord God, as she said, Lord God, this thing is healing. We decree it's healed and whole. We decree it's healed and whole in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for the testimonies that will arise, Lord God, that God touched me. Oh, he touched me. And every pain, any weakness left. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over weakness, over pain. I command it to be removed right now and over fear as well. Fear go. Thank you, Lord. Trauma lever too. Trauma lever too in the name of Jesus. Trauma lever too. You two are too funny. Saw a pillar of fire and it was rising up. It was rising up. 
and it's not going to be stopped. Oh, it's not going to be stopped. Mama brought Lord, her, her little baby. Lord, I thank you, Father. He's healed and he's whole. Your peace, your comfort, Lord, is upon him right now in Jesus' name. every word curse that's been spoken over you. We take authority right now over everything that the doctors have tried to label you with. We say absolutely not. We stand firm in what our great physician, Jehovah Rapha, has spoken over you. Healed and whole. We command this heart to be healed and whole. In the name of Jesus, uh, thank you, Father. Wow, complete. Total in the name of Jesus. Every curse, every generational curse, we break it off you right now. I speak life abundantly. Strong and healthy heart. See, we speak, speak that strong and healthy heart over her. And the heart has to line up with the words that are spoken in faith. The heart has to line up with the words spoken in faith. Amen. Amen. She's got her chair. She's set. She's set. She's set. So everything that is not of God comes off you right now. Everything that is not of God comes off of her right now. Yep. All oppression, any ungodly transference goes right now. Completely. Now, Vicki, look at me. Freedom in Christ. The freedom of the Lord, which you know, rising up right now. Who there's a rising up within you right now. There's a freedom in Christ. You're gonna taste and you're gonna see, oh, just how good God is. More than you've ever even experienced. I see God taking you beyond what you've actually walked in before. There was a level, but God says, no, you're going beyond that level. You're going beyond that level. You're going beyond that level. Oh, you're going beyond that level. You're going beyond. So, Father, she believes. God, you can heal her eyes. So we speak forth to these cataracts right now. Be removed. Eyes be healed. Eyes be healed. Restore perfect vision and perfect sight now you know when you pray this for somebody in the room if you need that you receive that even if I wasn't standing or speaking or laying hands on you Jesus our healer is right yes Woo. All right, you two. let's separate these two for a moment hallelujah Thank you, Father. 
because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, absolutely. And he carries you. He literally carries you. For when the battle is too hard, God's joy overwhelms you. It's his grace. He overwhelms you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for you overwhelm her, Lord God. Father, I thank you. It's radical praise. It's radical praise. That's what he has called us to. But I see that over you. Radical praise. Thank you, Abba. Oh, I, the minute that I put my hand upon you, I mean the minute, I literally saw, it's like smoke, but I know it was the glory. I knew it was prayer and worship that's rising up from your belly. But you were, I saw you laying down. So I saw it literally just go straight up, but it was in this swirl. So the, the base was thick, and then it just got like a swirl would. It got narrow and as it went up. But it was rising up, because I said you were laying down. It was rising up out of your belly, straight to the heavens, straight to, straight to King Jesus. And that is your prayer. Your prayers, your prayers, and your adoration for him rising up straight to the throne room. See, he sees your heart. He knows the brokenness. He sees and he knows. And and actually, and he so receives that worship that you're giving. And I see this is something new. And it's been happening over the months. Over the past few months, it's been happening. There's been an increase of, of that tenacity to press into him. And so, and I literally saw it like smoke, but it was rising up like a swirl, just rising up to him. And he receives it and loves it. He loves you. He loves you. We keep pressing in for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How are you doing? Praise God. Are you here for more? Yes. I love it. Amen. Amen. Just take a deep breath. Say, Spirit of the living God, I want everything you have for me. I want everything you have for me. Yes, God. So, Father, as you... Can you open your eyes? Okay. So, Father, right now, anything from the past is severed. Anything that is not of God is severed right now. And, Father, in this very moment, in this holy moment, that you would totally encompass him in your glory. And as this is happening, Lord God, his body, his mind, his heart, his soul is being healed. It's being healed. There's a confidence that is rising up, starting to rise up. A confidence, and it's a God confidence. And it's shifting the things you have not yet understood. And so that God is going to speak to you, and there's going to be an awareness of God's presence, even more than before. So, Lord, I thank you for healing his body. I thank you, Lord God, for healing him. We cancel every word curse spoken to you by any doctor or any physician or any holistic person. I thank you, Lord God, that anything doesn't... that hasn't lined up with your perfect will we just say absolutely not we cast that out in the name of Jesus we cast that out I speak over your body healing over your nervous system healing right now thank you Lord God over his stomach Lord God digestive system Lord God you're healing him and Lord totally and completely whole that we shall hear the testimony of our Lord coming forth out of your mouth thank you Abba the things that used to bother him before physically and spiritually and emotionally no longer will. Loud music no longer will bother you. Fragrances and senses no longer will bother you. Father, even as he is down under the glory, I thank you for what you're doing. We give you the glory and the praise. I thank you, Lord, completely healed and whole. I apply the blood of Jesus over you. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, breath of heaven, breath of heaven flowing over you. The breath of heaven. Let the breath of heaven just sweep over you. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> just more. Oh, yes, a double whammy. Lord, double portion, Lord God. Fire of 
God. You know, the Lord just said that you have been faithful to speak and to minister to your family members. You, that's what the Lord, you have been faithful to speak over your family members, to pray over them, and you've been bold even when rejected. You have been bold. You spoke truth even when you're rejected, mocked, or ridiculed. Keep on going, woman of God. Keep on going because there is a great reward. There is a great reward that is coming to you. A great reward. But I pull out those arrows. I pull out those places of pain and rejection. I pull out those areas right now. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. They will not be allowed to remain. Thank you, Father. Touch her. Thank you, Jesus. This is what the Lord's showing me. That way you can have freedom. That way if you need to... ready to be done is we're not, we're not ready for it. We're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on going. Tell me what you need healing for. curse word. Yeah, yeah, take it off. We cancel any curse word right now. Oh, any curses upon this piece of jewelry. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Father God, we destroy it, your word says, by fire. And so I would encourage you to do that when you go home. Pass it through the fire in the name of Jesus and dispose of it in the name of Jesus. We break every crystal curse, every curse of new age, every curse right now. We open up demonic doors. We shut them in the name of Jesus. We shut them in the name of Jesus. This is a God fearer. She loves the Lord. She loves Jesus. She will not have any mixture, anything that is hidden right now is being exposed. And I thank you, Lord God, for healing her body, her emotions, her mind, her heart, your whole in him. Woo, thank you, Lord. There's a joy, the joy of the Lord that just came upon you. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Wow. So much more is done. God, praise you, Lord. How can I pray for you? Okay. Surgery was December 12th. Surgery was December the 12th. Okay. Physical. Yeah, what now? The physical therapist has just been cranking on it. Oh, he's been, yeah, he's been doing what he's, what he's called to do, in, but it's painful. Okay. And then and when you came for prayer, you were able to lift it. You're still able to lift it. Praise God, but there's just some pain. Is that what you're saying? Okay. So, Lord, I thank you. You, uh, this shoulder that was stuck, like a frozen shoulder, it was stuck. But God opened and lifted it up, and you're able to lift it. But all the pain goes right now. Lord, I thank you. No, no more, no more pain. We say this pain goes in this joint. We thank you for your Holy Ghost right now. Power to heal is yours in Jesus' name. I receive the glory of God to be healed in this shoulder right now. Joint. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. How we doing here? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Father. So God has taken you, and he's been lifting you up. He's been healing you. He's been causing you to walk up higher. He's been giving you, he's been helping you understand the anointing and the authority that you walk in. 
because you're a new creation in Christ. And so, Father, I thank you. You know, I see you standing up, like literally on your tippy toes. So that means God is raising you up more. So, Father, I thank you for that which I see in the spiritual realm. I thank you you're doing it in, in the natural as well as the spiritual. So, Father, right now, raising her up, raising her up, raising her up in the name of Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Lord. And you know how important that is? Because... Because God wants to do more in and through you. He wants to use you. You know, when you end up sharing your full testimony, people are going to be amazed at what God has done. Amazed. Wow. It's not just about physical healing, although she's received a ton of that. But it's every kind of healing. Every kind of healing. Are you guys just up here praying? Oh, lungs, lungs, yes, lungs, Lord God. Father, I thank you, Lord God. She is healed and whole. As she comes up for lungs, she says, lungs, lungs, healed and whole. Lungs, healed and whole. Be healed, be strengthened, be healed. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray for Pastor Wanda. More, more. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the more. This would be way too much for him normally, right? This would be way too much for him normally, right? But look at God. It's amazing. Thank you, Father. Yeah, we decree eyes to be opened and healed. Opened that you shall see. That you shall see. In the name of Jesus, blind eyes no more. That you shall see. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Sight, Lord, creative miracles. Sight. Thank you, Father. Restoring what the locust has stolen. Hallelujah. Blindness no more. Ears open. Yes. Totally and completely breaking curses off of this man of God. That last time you said that you could see more light, that there was more brightness. Yeah? Okay, you look. Tell me what is different. What? Oh, <laughs> did you hear him? Oh, right here, right here, right here. He says, oh, right here, right here. Yes, there is. You can see more light over here. Is that what you're saying? Right here? Praise God. More, Lord. So let's stay right there. Yeah, clap your hands for Jesus. So on this side, you can see more. More light. Praise Jesus. Amen. More more we rebuke the spirit of blindness we command it to be removed right now we rebuke you devil loosen your grip off of him right now in the name of jesus thank you father god not just light but fully see fully see eyes come into alignment be healed and whole in the name of jesus hallelujah look again look again hallelujah lord i thank you for bringing things into focus I thank you, Father God, for causing things to be brought into focus, not just the light, but causing things to be brought into focus that he will see clearly. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell us anything right now? What's going on? Test it and see. On this side. Amen. Yes. Okay. Praise God. Well, we're going to continue to stand and pray and believe. Amen. God is not done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just making sure, Kelly. Woo! Hallelujah. He wants more. And so, Lord, the, the fire of God. Have to wait till we get a catcher just in case it would be the time that we don't have a catcher that he falls right because <laughs> he he never really he never really falls but that would be the time i don't have a catcher fire the holy ghost take it in about so more more you're expanding his ministry lord god lord you're giving him a law a heart for the lost and for the young <laughs> you say put your hands yeah i pray for him <laughs> 
More, Lord God. Lord, I thank you, Father God. So many testimonies, so many healings, so many deliverances, Lord God. Children returning to the Lord because that is the heart you've given him. In Jesus' name. Sherry, oh, Sherry Joy. I need a catcher for Sherry Joy. And all the kids come. You guys are precious. You guys are amazing. And if the Lord shows you or gives you a word for anybody in this room, kids, actually just ask them right now. Lord, what do you want to say to me regarding somebody in this room? Just close your eyes and ask them. And then I'm, I'm going to come and I'm going I'm to ask you, what did, what did Jesus just say? All right? So just close your eyes and just ask them, Jesus, do you have something for me to say to anybody in this room? Maybe it's a prayer. Maybe it's a word of encouragement. But what God has done in you in healing he continues. Yes, he continues. Oh, hallelujah. God's peace upon you. Wow. <laughs> she falls in the most interesting way. <laughs> All right, come on up here. Let's let's stand here for a moment, kids. And let's just thank him. Thank Jesus. Let's thank Jesus. Okay, we're thanking Jesus right now. Thank you, Father, for speaking through these little ones as well. Thank you, Father. That which you have put upon their heart is what will be spoken and nothing else. That's true for all of us. We don't want ourselves. We want purely what comes forth from the Spirit of God. And so right now, I thank you for quickening them, Lord God, because they've been activated in, this, in the gifts. But right now, Father, quickening their spirit, man. Thank you, Father. And now, if anyone has a word or something you want to pray, just let me know, okay? Let me know. Do you have something, Joseph? Yeah? Okay, go ahead. Uh, dear God, thank you for this day, and um, thank you for making us courageous, loving, and peaceful warriors for you. And um, uh, make us bold so that we can go out into the world and preach the good news about um, and that uh, you are real. And so that other people who think that God is mad at them or that uh, they aren't loved, um, that they would know that the opposite is the right. Um, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We receive that. We all receive that. Anybody else have something you want to pray or share? You have something? It's for Pastor Kim. Um, God has highlighted your spine to me for some reason. Um, I, so I wanted to pray over your spine and anybody else's spine. So, Lord, I pray um, <clears throat> these spines will be straightened. These spines will be healed, Lord. I pray that um, whatever the doctors say won't be true, Lord. I pray that you will heal everybody in here. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Anybody else? I don't want to miss anybody. You don't have to, but has the Lord shared something with you, for you to say? Yeah? Dear God, I pray that everyone would be stronger and stronger and that they would have a good day in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Do you have something? No? It's okay. It's all right. Praise the Lord. Father, we bless these little ones. Just extend your hands for a moment to these little ones. We thank you for the mantles, Lord God, upon their lives. We thank you, Lord God, that you cover them, Lord God, with your precious blood and you cocoon them as well, Lord God. Father, we thank you that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, but instead, Lord God, that they are in safekeeping in the arms of our Lord, precious Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you that you, you, you cause them to grow and to shine and to thrive in the gifts and the callings that you have given them, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you have also given them to us as gifts to this church, that we will steward them well, Father God, that we will continue to speak into their lives and help them, Lord God, to soar as their parents are as well, Lord God, soaring in the things of the spirit realm. Lord, I thank you that no weapon that's been formed against them is going to prosper. I thank you no evil that's come against them. Lord God, we rebuke the devourer. We command it to be loosed and removed from them and their families. And I thank you, Lord God, that these truly are this next generation, Lord God. Lord, they're the 
voices of this next generation. Lord, we took people talk about a revival all the time, but this is revival. This is right here, purity in the pulpit, purity in church, purity in families, being raised up, uh, being protected and stewarded over. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for these precious children, that they would always know, Lord God, that they walk with you, that they would always know, Lord God, the love of God upon their lives, that they will always know that you are their heavenly father, you are their maker, but you are also their friend. I thank you, Father, for the love that causes them to rise up and soar and say, Abba, I love you and I trust you every moment of every day. In the name of Jesus, amen. Wow, wow, wow. Praise God. That's amazing. <laughs> Praise you, Lord. Father. What an incredible morning we've had already, church. Wow. So services like this, the glory of God, when we are in the glory realm of God, we, we become so transformed and healed and completely renewed. And so we don't walk out the same way we walked in because you can't be in the glory of God and, be, and, and not be affected. You can't be in the glory of God and walk out the same way. Amen. And so we are so grateful for everything, everything that our Lord does for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Woo. Praise you, Jesus. You know the devil's afraid of you. He is so afraid of you. He does not want you to walk in your high calling. He does not want you to know who you are in Christ, right? But when you do know who you are in Christ, then what happens is, is that he is kicked out and you start trampling upon his, his, the things that he tried to rob, kill, steal, and destroy from your life. You start trampling upon them and say, oh, no, I'm taking it back. So in Ephesians 3.20, it says, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly. Now unto him who is able to do, which was Christ Jesus, the Lord our God. Amen. Unto him who is able to do. Say, Jesus is able to do. Abundantly above and above. Abundantly above all. All. Abundantly above all that I might ever ask or think according to the power that works on the inside of us. Make it personal. According to the power that works on the inside of me, Jesus is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all. Ephesians 3.20. Say it over yourself. Over everything, above and beyond everything, Jesus is able to do abundantly and above, above all. Above all, according to the power of God that works on the inside of me. How many of you guys really believe that? You believe that. We believe that according to the power that works inside of us. That power is the power of Christ. That power is the power of resurrection. That power is the power of breakthrough, of healing. He's healing your body, Nick. He's totally restoring you. Amen. He is. And this is the second time that you've come here. But I see such an increase, such an incredible increase. One day you're going to share your testimony and everybody will know exactly what God has done and God will get all the glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn your Bibles to Ephesians in chapter 3, verse 14. It says, For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord, to the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ. We bow our knees now, don't we, church? Yeah. We thank him now. Amen. And so it says, For this reason, I bow. I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named it says that he would grant to you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might. Say it over yourself. I am strengthened with might. I'm strengthened with Say it over your minds. My mind is strengthened with might. 
Say it over your spirit man. My spirit man is strengthened with might. You know why we, I, say, I, I tell you guys to say these things and to speak them over your spirit man? is because when you, when you speak them over your spirit man, you also hear yourself saying it. And when you hear yourself saying things, right, it literally is received into your spirit. It's one thing to hear somebody else say it, and that's good. But when you say it, when you say the word, when you give, when you speak an affirmation that's based on the word, you're hearing yourself say the truth, which means your spirit is literally growing. Your spirit grows. It grows in Christ because there's a whole lot of tearing down that goes on in the world day by day, moment by moment. And I know you all know this and you're aware of this. So why not speak to your spirit? Why not speak to your spirit the truth? Why don't you tell yourself, you know what? I'm made in the image and in the likeness of God. And so therefore I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Why don't you speak to your spirit man on a regular basis and you see, you will see yourself rise up and say, yeah, I am able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond anything I ask, dream, or imagine simply because of the power of Christ in me. When you start to speak that over yourself, and it does take some discipline, but when you start to speak that out loud over yourself, literally you will start going to a whole nother level. The devils are afraid of you when you speak the word. Demons are afraid of you. Well, because they're afraid of the word. And so when you speak the word, they tremble. They literally tremble because they know they have no, they have no access. They have no real power, right, over the word of God. So, so we're strengthened with might. What do you mean might? That means God's doing him his power. What is might? You are strengthened with might. That means you are strengthened with God's miraculous power. That means the power for, to do miracles is within you, within all of us. So it says that you, and this is, this is Paul, and he's praying this to the church in Ephesians. He says, according to the riches of his glory, that you would be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. Take care of your inner man, church. Take care of your inner man. You take care of your inner man as you stay in the word and as you speak God's word out loud over yourself. Amen. And it says that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. That you being rooted and grounded in love. Let me tell you, you could be rooted and grounded in many things. But the Bible tells us to be rooted and grounded in love. You could be rooted and grounded in the wrong soil and not know it. You could be rooted and grounded in wrong thinking and be unaware because you're, it's familiar to you. It's something that you don't catch, you don't notice because you're familiar to it. But let everything that is ungodly, every ungodly familiar rooted right now in your life. Every And you can say that over yourselves. Every ungodly root in my life be uprooted right now. Because I, you, were not called to walk with a deficiency or a lack that the enemy put upon you or you did yourself. Because sometimes it is not even the enemy. It's the agreement that you gave the enemy. It's the agreement. Let every ungodly agreement be exposed right now so they can be uprooted in the name of Jesus. They can be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every ungodly agreement in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. So we're rooted and grounded in love, right? The Word of God, this is what he's praying. This is what we pray over ourselves, that we would be rooted and grounded in love, the love of God. And it says that we may be able to comprehend. See, now why would Paul pray this? That we would be able to comprehend. Because not, able, not everybody is able to comprehend. He's praying this because not everyone is, not that they're not able, but they're not necessarily willing. Because God has obviously made them able. But some people will not allow God to really speak to them because they're just moving too fast and never take a break. That's just one reason. Yeah, that's just one reason. But they, that they may be able to comprehend with all the saints. Comprehend what? Well, read the next line. What is the width and the length and the depth and the height, which is the love of God? In other words, how vast, how great, how grand, how incredible, how deep, how wide is the love of God? When you walk knowing that you are loved by God, 
you walk completely different. You don't walk with your head held low. You don't walk with your spirit down or dragging. You don't walk thinking, oh, I don't think so, I can't do this. You walk knowing I can because of Christ in me. You walk knowing because I'm so loved, God's favor shines upon me. Do you not know the favor of God on your life? There's a lot of Christians that don't, and they walk with compromise. And it's not because they have, it's not because they want to compromise. It's not because they're just, oh, you know, I don't, um, I'm a worm. Or they don't have that kind of thinking. It's just that the truth has not yet been revived on the inside of them, which is the word of God. So the love of God wants to uproot every false teaching, every false thinking, every false belief so that you walk really fully embraced, embracing the love of God. And now you walk whole. Now you walk as a daughter or a son of the most high God. And that is who we are. And when we get this in our spirit, let me tell you, there is no stopping you. There is no stopping you. You know, there, the gifts of discernment will increase in your life, but so will the gift of discerning of spirits. And when you have the gift of discerning of spirits, you're going to see things you didn't see before, and you're going to cast things out just because you see them. Because why? The love of God has filled you up. Now you have the spirit of God on the inside of you in full measure. Not lacking, not just a little portion, but in full measure. That's one of the things that when you get filled with the spirit of God, the love of God so starts to saturate within you. Understanding discerning of spirits will give you the upper edge will give you wisdom will give you power in your prayer life uh, and you'll know exactly how to pray how to cut that devil's how to cut his head off and how to chop his feet off and say oh no mm -mm -mm -mm. i see you i see you see if you don't see you can't do but when you see you can do we need to see. We need to see. Say, I see. I see. How many of you guys, when you pray for somebody, you see so much and you know they don't? So just because it's available doesn't mean that everyone's walking in it. Are we following right now? Yes. But my prayer is that every single person in this room and listening to the sound of my voice is increasing in this gift. You will increase because just by nature of, of being close to someone, what they carry, you receive. If there is an agreement in the spirit. Oh, I'm talking to somebody and I'm telling you stuff and I hope you can understand what I'm saying. Like to the depths of it, it can seem simple on one level, but if you really understand the depths of what I'm saying, your life will be transformed. Yeah. Like completely transformed. You will carry what has been deposited when you walk in the love of God attached to the right source. Yeah. Holy Spirit is the right source, but he puts you in fellowship with the right people. And you need to know the difference. Wow. Thank you, Lord. The width and the length and the depth and the height. This is of the love of God. That's what we're rooted and we're grounded in. And it says, to know the love of Christ, which passes, passes knowledge, that you may be filled with the fullness of God. So if we are to be filled with the fullness of God, why is it that sometimes we, fall, we feel like we fall short? Well, that moment that you feel like you're not filled with the love of God because all kinds of stuff are coming your way, it's coming your way. That's when you say, oh, you know what? The devil is trying to shortchange me. I'm going to stop. I'm going to let myself be saturated in the love of God because I'm rooted and grounded in the love of God. So therefore, if he's trying to distract me, it's what he does. He's a master distractor, deceiver, distractor. Right? So we, at that moment that you realize, oh, something I've shifted somehow, he's sneaky, he's deceptive, he, but somehow there's been a shift. I got my focus off. Get refocused position yourself under the spout where the glory comes out position yourself uh, position yourself in the love of god position yourself uh, and literally get filled up again did we not just read this let's let's read this part again it says that you may be filled with all the fullness of god not just a little portion see we have to read the scriptures and we have to let the scripture really talk to us because sometimes we can read the whole portion of scripture over and over and over and miss so much of what was available to us, right? So it says here, with all the fullness of God, that I will be filled with all the fullness of God. I am in the end of verse 19. Say it over yourself, that I am filled with all the fullness of God. 
all the fullness. Well, what's all the fullness of God? His power, his might, his strength, his wisdom, his discernment. He's the Lord of lords. He's the king of kings, right? He is the Lord of hosts. So therefore, the Lord of the army that's literally coming, the assignment that's come against you, well, the Lord of hosts is going to deal with it. And you carry that spirit. You carry him. You carry him, the fullness of God in you. And then we're going to finish with this portion, anyways, with the scripture that we started with, which was in is, is Ephesians 3.20. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask, all that we think, according to the power that works within us, which you know is the power of God, unto him who is able to do. It is God working this in you. So when you feel weak, that's the best place to be. As long as you say, when I'm weak, I'm strong in Christ. When you feel like you can't, that's the best place to be because that's when you can say, I can't, but Christ can in me. Amen? So we're filled with the fullness of God. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask and all that we think according to the power that works. There's a working power in you. There's a power that works in you. The power of the Holy Ghost is not just quiet and stagnant and still. He's working in you. He is working in you. Jordy, he's working in you. Amen? Amen. Nan, he's working. Chris, he's working in you. The spirit of the living God, he's working on the inside of us. He's not just stagnant. He's not just like, you know, he is constantly working on the inside of us. So it's my prayer, and I'm believing it's yours as well, that we are very aware and in tune. Holy Spirit, what are you saying right now? What are you doing right now unto me, like in my heart, in my life, because I want to be in step with you. I want to be in step with you. We want to be in step with him, don't we? Don't we? Let the fire of God just literally light a fire under your feet. For many of you that need that inferno right now because you feel like, I wish I had what she had. No, you have it. You have it. For some of you that are like, yeah, but I wish that I had what she had. You have it. You have the Holy Spirit. He's working on the inside of you. You have it. Let the fire of God come forth throughout of you. Open your mouth and let that word come out. Let that word be declare, declared out of you. You have it. You don't lack anything. You don't, la you don't lack. We don't lack. All right, let's, let's turn our word over to, let me find where it was. Well, I'm just going to turn to Hebrews because I know it's in Hebrews and I didn't write it down. But I know we're going to Hebrews and I know it's Hebrews 10 and Hebrews 11. We've got two scriptures that we're going to look at. Hebrews 10. We're going to start with Hebrews 10. And I'll tell you exactly where it is as soon as I get to Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10, 35. How many of you guys are following the names of God? So it was yesterday that I, that I spoke on Jehovah Gamola, and some and many, I should say, really have not heard that name. It's not one that we hear a lot, but it means the Lord of recompense, who will reward those who diligently seek him. So what's recompense? I mean, to be paid back, right? To be compensated, to be rewarded. So I want you to listen to these two scriptures, Hebrews 11, uh, 10, Hebrews 10, 35. Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has a great reward. Do not cast away your boldness. Do you know what the enemy is banking on? Mm -hmm. Yep. He's banking on you to lose your confidence in Christ, your boldness. That's why he tries to assault you so bad. That's why he tries to put your family members against you. That's why, he, that's why he'll have like one of your children, you know, a child, you know, come and tell you, you know, you're too much. You're just too much. Can't you be normal? Can't you just be normal like the other moms? You're just too much. You know, I can't have my friends around you because you embarrass me. I don't know if any of you have heard that one, but I know I have over the years. <laughs> don't buy into that lie. They're kids. I don't care if your kid happens to be 45 and he's still saying it. He's a kid. Spiritually, he's asleep. So don't you let that spirit, and that's what it is, is a spirit, trying to rob you of your boldness, of your confidence in Christ. The Bible says, do not let your boldness be robbed. Because if you don't, what did it say? There's a great reward. 
There's a great reward. But you know, you have to fight against everything that tries to come to, against you to shut you up. It's not going to work. We're not going to shut up because we're too radical for Jesus. But you know what? If truth be told, there are times where you, you do feel the wounding. You do feel, I mean, unless I'm the only one, but sometimes you do feel the wounding. Sometimes it hurts pretty bad too because it comes from the ones that are the closest to you, the ones that should have never said it, the ones that should know better, and the ones that still jabbed that knife and then turned it. Okay, some of us are playing church like, I'm not going to make a motion. And then other ones are like, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, then it's for me. It's just me then. It's a few of us. But no, seriously, sometimes it hurts pretty bad. But you know what? That's when we say, you know what? We have to see it as what it really is. Because we don't battle against flesh and blood. If we're filled with the love of God, and that's what we're focusing on, we're filled with the love of God. And that enemy tries to come against you, and he uses one of your very own to stab you, to jab you, and then turn that knife with a word that really hurts. And all you're trying to do is share truth because you know what they need, and they're rejecting it, right? And they're throwing it in your face, right? It is the enemy that is putting them up because we don't battle against flesh and blood. And so, therefore, you must take authority and say, no, in the name of Jesus, I bind up that foul spirit. I command that thing to be silenced. I command that thing to go in the name of Jesus. Now, whether you do it in front of them or not, it doesn't really matter, but you, need, you do need to do it. You need to make sure that, that, that the assignment that it had against you doesn't, it doesn't either, it doesn't get to A, happen, or B, it doesn't get to remain. Because sometimes it happens before you even have a chance to you know, even recognize it or do anything about it, right? It's already done. It's like, whoa, that came out of the back door, right? It happens. It happens, right? And so, but trust me, even when, when that happens, you go, my gosh, or, or you're in a season of intense warfare and it's like, you're, you're getting hit from every side. You're just getting, like, you just feel like you're spinning. You feel like, like, wow, okay, you're still standing. You're still moving forward. You know you're filled with the love of God. You know your feet are planted on solid ground, but the attack in that season is so strong, you feel like you're just spinning in circles. You're just going, oh, my gosh, oh, my goodness. And you're like, no, no, but it hurts, but you keep going forward. Well, in the name of Jesus, you pick up that phone, you call, you call the, on the name of the Lord, or you call a faithful person that you know will pray with you, but you need to get those things off of you because there's an assignment, and the assignment is to kill, still, and destroy, and you can't allow that because you're going to say, you know what? It's not that individual. They don't know, but in that spirit I deal with right now, and I command that spirit to go, and if, now listen to this, if it costs me everything. I'm willing to stand for Christ. And I know most of you guys know a lot of my story, and I have had to say that many, many times. No matter what, I will serve you. No matter what, I will choose you. If I have to stand alone, I will. And I'm referring to all members of my family. If I have to stand alone, I will. And you know what? God takes you seriously on that prayer. And, and you know, the enemy certainly tries to tries to yeah, steal from you with that prayer. But you stand firm and you say, oh, no, no, you don't, devil. No, you don't. I'm going to stand for Christ no matter what. And that demon has to flee. All those demons have to flee because I'm going to saturate myself in the Holy Ghost. I'm standing on holy ground. I'm filled with the love of God. And I'm going to continue to get filled with the love of God so that I overflow. Devil, you cannot steal from a vessel that's flowing over. You're flowing flowing over. It's the overflow. The enemy can't steal from you. He is afraid of you. He can't steal from you unless you let him. So I'm just trying to give you some tactics that explain some tactics that um, he does work against. He's trying to steal your confidence. You know, I'm going to read it again because sometimes you read this scripture, therefore do not cast away your confidence, which has a great reward. Well, can I ask you, why would you willingly cast away your confidence? We wouldn't, right? We're not going to willingly cast away our confidence. It's not like we're going to go, oh, you know what, I'm not going to, I choose to be insecure today, right? We don't do that. We're not willingly casting away our confidence. Why would he say this? Because the enemy is trying to rob from you your confidence. Why? Because if you stay confident in Christ, if you continue to decree the word of God, if you, no matter what comes against you, no matter how much pain, we already talked about some of that, no matter how much, you stay firm in Christ, there is a reward. Do you think the devil really cares if you're confident or not? Not really. He's concerned about the reward. He doesn't want you to get the reward. He doesn't want the reward of the Lord to be yours. That's why he stops. He tries to stop you, tries to rob you of your confidence. 
Say no more. Not on my watch. Now I know that the enemy is trying to rob me of my confidence so that he can rob my reward. No way. No way. And then turn to Hebrews 11 and 6. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. This means without a lifestyle of faith. Without a lifestyle of faith, we know faith is necessity is a necessity to please God. So without faith, it is impossible, not, not you can only please him a little bit, it is literally impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. We could have stopped and put an exclamation point right there. It doesn't stop there, but we could. We, he who comes to God, when you come to God, you must believe that he is. He is everything you need. He is your healer. He is your comforter even in the storm. He is the one that gives you clarity of mind. He is the one that gives you strength of your spirit and your soul. He is everything because he's the great I am. Say he's the great I am and he lives on the inside of me. And he lives on the inside of me. And so he says, for we must believe that he is, which means he's everything we need, and that he is, listen, he's everything. He is everything. Couldn't he have stopped right there? Couldn't have he put even just a period? He didn't have to put an exclamation point. But I want you to see this. He's a, he says, he is. He who comes to God must believe that God is and that he is. He who comes to God must believe that he is. That he is. Boy, we could have stopped right there. I don't know about you. I could have stopped right there because it tells me everything right there. He who comes to God must believe that he is. Wow, thank you, Lord, because you really are. Wow, thank you, Lord. But it doesn't stop. He says, and. And that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Not only is he everything that we need not only is he but he's also a rewarder but isn't all these things a reward but yet he, he distinguishes the two he is everything that we need but he's also a rewarder because god never shortchanges us because god always wants to give you more than you can hope dream or imagine because god always has more in store for you you just need to keep your eyes focused on him you just need to say lord i thank you that every good and perfect gift comes down from the father of heavenly lights i thank you lord god that you are for me and not against me i thank you lord god you are the great rewarder he is the great rewarder and he's rewarding you he is rewarding you for your service unto him he rewards us amen, amen. It's, it's incredible it's powerful now i want you to turn your bible over to genesis we've already established that god is the great rewarder we know that he rewards us he lavishes us with incredible gifts and that's his heart actually it's even his name Jehovah Gamola, the Lord of recompense, the one who rewards, right? But in Genesis chapter 4, and starting in verse 3, we read of a story, Cain and Abel. You guys remember this story? In the process of time, verse 3, in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. How important is it that we give to God what he asks and not what you think he wants? That's true of our hearts all the time. We need to give to God what he asks, not what you think he wants. Because what you think he wants may be different than what he's asking. So Cain brought an offering of fruit. Abel also, he brought of the firstborn of his flock. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering, but he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry. Well, he should have been angry at himself for disobeying, but no, he's angry at, he was angry at the Lord, and his countenance fell. Well, sure, because anytime you're out of the will of God, your countenance is going to fall, right? Especially something like this, where it's so diabolically, look, I want to do and bring what I think is important. How about God? What is important? How about God? What do you want? How about God? Lord, you can have all, everything, my heart, here it is. Good, bad, ugly, good, and different, just have it all. Right? And so he says, verse 6, So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? In other words, if you obey what I've told you to do, will you be accepted? And if you do not do well, 
Sin lies at the door, and its desire is for you. But you should rule over it. In other words, you must master sin. It says, if you do well, will you not be accepted? If you walk in obedience, will you not be accepted? Absolutely. But if you don't, sin lies at the door, and its desire is for you. Sin has a desire, and it's literally lying at the door so that you open it. What kind of a door? The door of your heart. The door of your heart. We don't want to open up the door of deception. We don't want to open up the door of hardness of heart. We don't want to open up the door of gossip or slander. We don't want to open up the door because it's there. It's lying there in wait. It's lying there. Sin has a desire, and its desire is for you. And you, but you must master it. In other words, you have to rise up above it and say, no, I see you, devil. Oh, no, I'm not falling for that same old man. There's a year, there was a day, but I'm not falling for that anymore. I see it. I'm mastering it. We must master it. Are you going to master it? Absolutely, because there is a great reward for you when you walk in obedience to the Lord, and you're not about ready to lose that great reward, are you? Not at all. Not when you serve the God of the great reward. That promises us that. And he is faithful to his promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You're so good. So we're not going to cast away our confidence. We're we're not going to cast away. We're going to make sure that we're obedient and we're diligently seeking him. And as we do this, God is our rewarder. And he's literally our covering. He's literally our covering. Amen? Amen. Let's pray in the spirit for a moment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, even as you've just delivered this word, Father, Father, for any person that, whether they know or they don't know, doesn't really matter, but Lord, if sin is crouching at their door, if sin is crouching at their door, and they're unaware, right now, We rebuke you, devil. We command you to be removed. Father God, that their eyes would be opened so that they would know I'm slamming that that door shut. I'm slamming it shut. Sin is not going to have rule over me. I'm ruling over it. I'm mastering it in the name of Jesus. So let every demonic assignment, every assignment of the flesh that's trying to come against their emotions, their heart, their ability to walk in peace and joy, let it go right now. We cast it out in the name of Jesus. Let every spirit of division go right now. Every trickery, every form of deceit go now. We separate it. I separate it out of your soul, out of the layers of your soul. In the name of Jesus, oppression go right now. Heaviness leave right now. Oh, in the name of Jesus, there's just a couple that I see it on, but I command it to be removed right now. All of it, all of it, it goes in the name of Jesus. Now I want you to ask the Holy Spirit to fill you again with the joy of the Lord. I want you to say, Holy Spirit, fill me. The love of God is mine fully. Remember the overflow of God's love? We just read it. We're rooted and grounded in him, in the love of God. Let that overflow in you right now, simply by asking him. Lord, I thank you for your overflow of your love. I thank you that the love of God overflows on the inside of me. And and Lord, I thank you that in the natural, it, would, it should seem like, wow, why are you acting this way? Why are you so strong? Why are you so confident when you should be falling apart? Because of the love of God, he sustains me. He's the one that's the lifter of my head because he will never let me go, because he will never forsake me, because he already said there's a great reward, and I just need to keep my eyes on him. I don't need to look to the right, to the left. I don't need, because promotion comes from the Lord, right? It doesn't come from the east, west, or the south. It comes from the Lord. He raises one up, he puts one down, but promotion comes from the Lord. And so he's my great reward. And he said this to Abraham. He said, he's your exceedingly great reward. To Abraham, and Abraham's blessings are ours. He said to Abraham, I am your exceedingly great reward. So you don't just have a reward. You have an exceedingly great. That means above and beyond, even greater than great. Woo! Greater than great. Exceedingly great reward is ours. And we claim it. In the name of Jesus, over our families, over our own walk, we claim it over our marriages. We claim it over every relationship that God has entrusted us with. We claim it right now over every part of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
we will walk in godly confidence. We will not be robbed of our confidence. Lord, whoever needs to be removed from our lives, remove it and remove them. But we will not be robbed from our godly confidence. We have one life to give to Jesus, and we're going we're gonna to spend our life on him. We're going to give him our all. Let me tell you, the day will come that they will see. Their eyes will be opened. They will see. The day is coming, and it's come for many already, but the day is coming for everyone that hears my voice. You're, the day is coming. Their eyes will see the truth. Your labor is not in vain. God's already spoken this. Your labor, your prayer, it is not in vain. God will bring them from the land of the enemy back into the sheepfold. Their, your labor, your prayer is not, your prayers, is not in vain. You got to know that and you got to walk with godly confidence. If you walk in godly confidence, what is yours? God's reward. God's great and exceedingly reward. Give God the glory. Hallelujah. We praise you, Father. We praise you. And truly, Lord, you are our reward. Truly, Lord, you are. In spite of and regardless and even over and above everything that God gives us, he is our reward. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You're my reward. And we, I love you. We love you, Lord. Praise God. Pastor VJ, would you come on up and do some announcements for, I'm not sorry, tithes and offerings for us. We want this fire more and Woo! more and more, and more and more and more and more. And, and see, this is where we receive the fire, but we got to yeah. keep it burning. Yes. We got to keep it burning. We, you know, like uh, in England, there was a man of God named John Wesley, and uh, he got on a fire, uh, fire, Holy Ghost fire. And uh, so he went to his church, and they kicked him out. They thought, you know, whatever. Uh, devil or whatever, so he he you know you, he couldn't keep the fire, so he he went in, and this is England, very cold weather, and uh, he he went outside and just just start preaching, and ten thousand people showed up because be, you know it was so cold, and and somebody asked him how can you have so many people come, he said you know I just set myself. I set myself on fire, and they come see me burning. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, so we see this fire is not just for us. We get fired up, you know, but we want to keep it burning. If you got a fireplace and, you know, the log is burned up, you got to put a new log. You can't just, you know, expecting fire to keep going. And we, we put in the log, which is our worship, our praise, share, share his love. Our heart is always to, 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 there are so many people hurting, and we want to minister to them. And in order, when we do that, then the fire keep burning. That's what I live for. Every place I go, I want to share love of Jesus, and that keeps the fire going. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In uh, Genesis, uh, we all know the story about God. You know, God, God uh, t told Abraham that, you know, you will have a son. And this, this is like 25 years. He waited uh, and, you know, he even made a mistake of, his, well, his wife told him to, to have a, you know, a son with his maid because he couldn't have it. You know, I, I can't even believe that. But anyway, so, uh, but God said, no, I, I'm going to give you through your Sarah. I'm going to give you a son. And so he had a son, uh, Isaac, after 25 years. And God told him, I want you to take your son, the only son, and sacrifice to me, you know, 
God wasn't wanting to kill him, but he was looking for obedience, you know. And, and, and that's sometimes, you know, we, we have challenges in our life, and we, we, we say, oh, at this month I won't do the tithe and offering, you know. But, but God doesn't need money. That he want uh, our obedience, and and uh, you know what uh, the Genesis twenty five, I mean twenty two fifteen through eighteen, and and when he obeyed that, and the angel of the Lord called uh, called to Abraham from heaven second time and said, I swear by myself, declare the Lord that because you have done this, uh, being obedient, and have not withheld your your son, your only son. I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies and through your offspring, all nations of the earth will be blessed and because you have obeyed me. So when we, tr when we trust God, despite of what he asks us, you know, he asks us, the, the first fruit, tithe, the tithe ten percent, and the first fruit of what, whatever, whatever he asks us to to give, you know, and he's so faithful. He is so faithful. I, you know, I can testify miracle after miracle, and that's what he is. Of, of course, you know, if we decide not to obey that, now you know, as the glory realm keep increasing here. You know, you're going to have to be serious. You know, this is, the anointing going to be so great. And, you know, that you, will, the, you, you know, when you don't tithe, you know, you, you become yourself God. You know, you become, okay, I choose. I choose what I want to do with my money, you know. But God, that, that, what that means is you are idolizing yourself, self God, worshiping yourself decision now you are on your own you know but god is so faithful he faithful he he's faithful uh, he 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 give hundred fold he, he want to bless you not just financially but he want to bless you in physically in your home relationship your children he, and don't even just think about you you think about your descendants, your children, your grandchildren. You, when you tithe an offering faithfully, you are setting example to who God is in your life. And that's, that's what it's about. And it's, God is a God of covenant. When we give tithe and offering, it is a covenant we are making. Yeah, no matter what happens in the world, yeah, you know, you, 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 know you, you have a covenant. He's going to take care of you. He has. He has always. You know, praise God. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We, we thank you, God, for, for you, the creator of heaven and earth, want to make us covenant with us, Lord. Why? Because you want to bless us. You want to, you want to bless us in every area of our lives. And, and even the, when you are, have a right relationship with Jesus, he, the joy comes in, the peace, peace of God, and it, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. When we have totally surrendered life and obedient to whatever he asks us to, because he's an awesome God. He is worthy God. So if you want to keep fire going, be obedient. And, and not just keep the fire for you. You know, you offer a sacrifice of praise. Worship him every day. Every day. You can't, you will have so much joy you won't be able to contain it. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and that his word promised to you is that his goodness, his mercy will follow you all the days of your, your lives. Hallelujah. He's an awesome God. And Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Now, Amen. There's an envelope in the back and or front of the chair. Uh, you know, if you if you're giving by credit card or debit card, you can fill it out. Make make sure it's le legible. If you're giving it online, you know the the House of Glory Church org, Hallelujah, or Kathy Capola org, Hallelujah. Praise God. 
Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we love you, Lord. We, when we bring tithe and offering, go ahead, uh, go ahead, uh, Pastor, but when we bring tithe and offering, we, this is our heart. It's you looking at our heart, Lord. Where, where your money is, that's where your heart going to be. You know, so we thank you, God. Bless, Lord. Bless every person that came here, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Even if they don't have money to give today, but no matter what, they came to seek God. And they're seeking God's kingdom, God's will, on, uh, and everything they have need of shall be added unto them, Lord. Hallelujah. The peace and joy of the Lord be your strength. Hallelujah. He guard your heart and your mind in Jesus' name. Amen. And most importantly, Jesus loves you. <laughs> Amen. Who's uh, doing the, the new? Okay. Oh, Pastor Melissa. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Vijay. Wow, what an amazing morning. Woo, praise God. Wow, yeah. Yes, Jesus, we give you all the glory. You're so good, God. Yes, God, we position ourselves with you. Yeah, God, we thank you, Lord. You are our great reward and rewarder, and we thank you, Jesus, for all that you're doing. Wow. Woo. Wow. Wow. Welcome to House of Glory this morning. Do we have any first-time visitors? Well, hello. What's your name? Linda, yay, we're so happy that you're here. Yes, praise the Lord, so good. How did you hear about us? Oh, Natasha, awesome, well, great. Good friends, good godly friends, that's so good. Yes, well, blessings to you both, that's so good. Yay, anybody else? Hello there, what's your name? Cindy. Cindy, well, so good to have you, Cindy. Yes. And how did you hear about House of Glory? Awesome. <laughs> you heard the sound. So good. It's so good. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. That's so good. I love how God does that, right? Godly connections. So good, so good. Um, anybody else? All right, well, welcome, everyone. So good to be together. All right, here are some announcements. We have the Women's Bible Study, and that takes place the first and third Monday nights in Lake Forest. Uh, please let us know if you love to join us. You will be truly blessed. Um, you may see Pastor Kim right here in the front, or you can ask any of us if you have any questions. There's, there's also a sign-up in the lobby. Um, the times for that is 7 p.m. to 8.30, and the books will be provided, and we are reading Apostles' books um, from grief to glory. And let me just tell you, I know I say this every time, but I truly mean it from my gut, like from here. <laughs> like, it's true. It is such a good book, and it's drenched in the word of God, and it's just, it's so good. And we're really um, diving in together and being blessed by what the Lord has um, put in Apostle. And her testimony is also our testimony, right? Yes, like God can do it for us too. So it's so good. So please join us. Highly encourage you. And also the men have a Bible study, and that takes place the second and fourth Saturday morning in Mission Viejo. And the times for that is 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. And you may see Phil for more information. And yes, we do hear they have an amazing time and the Lord as well. So please go on and join them. Okay, I have a question for you. Interested in volunteering and our media team? Um, that would be like the slides um, for scriptures and announcements, the S&M team, and anything that has to do with media. Please see Phil Kelly, who's also here. Yes, Miss Kelly or Apostle. So if that's an area where you are really passionate about and the Lord's been stirring you up, actually, 
Lord, I ask that you stir us up, God. Anybody who is, um, who's been thinking about it, Lord, um, that it'll be you pointing them to where they should be um, and volunteering. So thank you, God, for that. Yes. Um, okay. So the Names of God series is now on our website, and that's a big cheer. Yeah, such a good word that Apostle's been given about the names of God. So please go on there. It's kathycapola.org, and um, look under Names of God tab. It's got its own tab, so please hop on and be blessed. Yes, and also... Um, all other teachings for this series are there for your convenience. So you can hop on there and just, yeah, just be um, blown away by the presence of God. Yes. All right. Did I miss anything else? All right. Apostle, would you? Okay, great. I will go ahead and close this out in prayer, and then the prayer team can come on up. If you'd like more prayer, please come, and we'd love to pray for you. So, Jesus, we thank you for this time, God. We thank you for all that you're doing. Jesus, we thank you for your glory, God. Yes, Jesus, we want to shine with you, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we want more of you, God, more of your Holy Spirit, more of who you are in us, Lord God. We thank you, God for the word that's coming forth directly from this pulpit, directly from your throne, from the throne room. Yeah, God. So we thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing and the more that's coming, God. We thank you for the glory. And God, wow, we just, we soak in your presence and what you did today. And we look to you, God, with great expectation, glory, and reverence. And we thank you, God. In Jesus' name, we seal it all. Amen.